Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm going to be recording you a quick um, 120 FPS on Xbox One uh, video. This is a remade video. Um, so basically I'm just going to be fixing some of the mistakes I made in my previous video. I'm covering some things I may have skipped over. Um, so anyways, let's get started. Go over to your profile picture. Uh, click settings. Go down to TV and display options. And you're going to see this screen. So you're going to want to go to uh, video fidelity and overscan to get started. And a lot of people in this top left corner, you're going to see auto detect. Just for the sake of this video, I've set mine to DVI. That's not what we're going to use once we're done. But anyways, so what you're going to want to do is click this box first and you're going to want to set this to HDMI. So when, once you make this change, it will make your screen look a little funny, just fair warning, but we can fix that. So don't worry about it. Let's go ahead and change that. Now, as you can see, our screen uh, now looks really crappy. So we're going to change the color space to PC RGB. Now, this is the part in the video where I have to mention, um, I get a lot of comments of people asking like, oh, my screen went black, I can't get it back. It's almost always because when people's screen goes black, they panic and they start pressing buttons on your controller. Just don't do that. If your screen goes black, it will come back automatically if you don't press anything. But if it works, then you will see a prompt on your screen telling you like, hey, do you want to keep these settings? If you could see your screen, then it worked. So anyways, let's go ahead and do that and I'll show you what I mean. So we're gonna click PC RGB. It's gonna ask me if I wanna change anyway, so it's trying to give me a warning just in case it might not work. So I'm gonna click switch anyways, cause I know mine will work. All right, and then it's gonna give us a screen now where it's gonna say like, oh, are you sure? This is the screen where people tend to make a mistake. So as long as you can see your TV at this point, then you're good. Click keep. So next step, we're going to press B and we're going to go over to our resolution. As you can see, now we have a box under that saying refresh rate. We're not going to touch that yet, though. You got to do it in exactly this order or it may mess up. I've tried other orders before and sometimes certain settings won't appear. So as long as you follow these directions, you should be in good shape. You're going to click resolution. You're going to click 1080p. It's going to give you that same prompt as before. As you've seen, it did say 1440p over that, but that's a result of manually putting it on HDMI. Sometimes it won't get a proper read from your screen. So anyways, now we're going to go ahead and change 120 hertz. It's going to probably give us the same prompt. Yeah, there it is. We're going to click keep. And then the very, very last step, video fidelity and overscan. Go over to color depth. And now you should be able to set this up to 36 should ask us the same thing again yep we're gonna click keep all right you're all done now your console's at 1080p 120 refresh rate and you've got pc rgb as your color space and 36 bits per pixel as your color depth so anyways guys i hope this helps hope i clarified some things and uh yeah like subscribe comment talk to you guys later see ya